Hey, what is up, tubers? Today was my first run. It was awesome. The uh, the terminal up here is so much more laid back, and it's brand new. It's so cool. I ended up getting me a 2017 Freightliner, and uh, I ended up going down to Cincinnati. Just did a small run today to kind of get my feet wet, and uh, then the rest of the week I'm gonna be making some money. They got me on some runs with some uh, back holes and everything, so um, it's definitely, definitely an easy, easy route with the uh, the tractor supply route. I mean, all you do is you go tractor supply across the street from our uh, terminals, their DC. You, you tell them what trailer you get. You go pick up your trailer. And you haul it to wherever the store it goes to, and then they unload it with the forklift. I, don't, I think it took you 25 minutes, maybe, to unload my trailer. And then uh, you just leave and you come back and take your empty back to the DC and then you're uh, you're done. So it's pretty cool. Uh, by the, I had one stop today and then I'll have two stops tomorrow and two stops Wednesday. So just to stop pay alone, um, by Wednesday I'll have $150 just in stop pay. And I chose today to have a small day because I wanted to just kind of get my feet wet. So everything worked out real well. I'm real happy here. Um, man, everybody's so nice and laid back. The truck is awesome and just runs great. And uh, hell, it runs 72 miles an hour. I don't run it that, but it runs that fast. Um, everything about's good. And then on top of that, man, you don't touch anything. You just unload and go. And sounds like the next two days I'm gonna be making some mileage. Uh, looks like I'm gonna be putting in probably close to, I think, uh, 700 miles or more to next two days. For a local guy, that's pretty good, you know. And uh, plus my stop base. So yeah, it's uh, it's definitely gonna be fun. I think I'm gonna enjoy working here um, as long as everything stays the way it is right now. You know, as long as they don't go and change it, because right now everything up at this terminal in Pendleton is great. I've got a couple people interested already. Uh, like I said, if you're interested in coming up to Indiana, it's a $5,000 sign-on bonus, and you get a $1,000 longevity bonus every year. You get 39 cents a mile instead of 34, $30 for stop pay, um, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in coming up to Premier, let me know. Uh, get turn your name in and uh, get you taken care of. Uh, we are right now in Pendleton, we are short 63 drivers. They have 37 and he wants 100. So if you're out there and you wanna, and you live in Indiana and you wanna be home every night, like it's uh, it's 3.30 and I'm, I'm four miles from the house now, I'm almost home. So, um, you know, if you wanna do that and you want a job to where you can still make some great money and on top of that, um, you know, be home every night. I mean, you're not making the road money, but you're, you can make in the 50s, you know, in a $50,000 range and still be home every night. That's a pretty good trade off. I, I would want to make $80,000 if I didn't have time to sit home and spend, you know, spend it. And your, your, uh, cents per mile goes up all the time. So you're always going to have that raise coming and you got your bonuses and all that stuff. So like I said, if you're interested, man, this is a pretty cool job. I'm pretty glad everything went good today and uh, nothing, uh, really, no snags. So, uh, it's like I always say, man, like, comment below. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And all you drivers out there, keep her safe. And, uh, oh, by the way, one thing that really bugs me for all you non-truck drivers out there, or truck drivers, if that matter, when you're in a construction zone and it says a certain mile an hour and you're supposed to do that a certain mile an hour, do it. If it says 50, don't do 70. Nothing pisses me off more when I'm going through this construction and there's guys working on a road and I see dumb asses and their four wheelers out here just going down the road, you know, and semis both. It's not just cars, but semis both running 10, 20 mile an hour over speed limit. You know, it's no different than you. You want to get home to your wife or husband or son or whatever. Well, they want to get home to theirs too. And the fact of the matter is, is it happens all the time. And you know, I don't know why. I don't do it in the car. I don't do it in the semi. To me, if I'd hit one of them guys and kill them, I, I'd never, the, the remorse I would have would be just ridiculous. So 
slow down out there in your construction zone, man. It's just, I probably wouldn't say nothing because I'd never really noticed it as much before because I didn't travel as much. Now that I'm on the road constantly, I see it all the time and it's just, it's not fair to those poor guys out there working. So, you know, try to keep it right and make sure that everybody gets home safe. So, other than that, we'll catch you later. Comment below. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you.